Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Um, today, we're going to do something a little fun. We're going to work on building our Raspberry Pi into a flight aware box. Um, hopefully, you can see my screen here. Um, so, first, we're going to take, we're going to go to flightaware.com and we are going to find the instructions here. And the first thing that we need to do is open up this. Uh, at your application. Now I already have my antenna installed on the house. Um, I have uh, the wire run over to my rack. So we're going to run over. We're going to agree. That keeps, of course, it keeps going, jumping back to my other screen. Let it install. Okay, so now we've also downloaded our zip file here. And let's go to. Yeah, I have a lot of crap in my download folder. Um, I've got to clean that up. That's bad. Oh, sorry. We got to go to list. No, stop that. I haven't had enough coffee today. Details. There we go. And sort by date. And Pyware. There we go. Select the target. I've already got my 32 gig flash drive right here. Um, inserted. Oh, it's not a flash drive. It's a like a micro. It's a micro SD card. So we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna flash. You can't. There we go. It's gonna ask me. Do you wanna allow this app to make changes? Yes. It's gonna run through and it's gonna flash the uh, Raspberry Pi or uh, Piware image onto. Presumably, presumably it's gonna flash it onto this SD card here. And then we'll pop it in our Raspberry Pi. We'll connect our uh, radio adapter and we'll fire it up and see what happens. One thing that I did try, um, I tried running, uh, there's a distribution of uh, Raspbian Linux that's been ported over to run in VMware. And I actually did get it to run um, and I was hoping to run FlightAware in, uh, in that VM. Unfortunately, uh, the uh, processors are, Intel and the Raspberry Pi is uh, ARM and it doesn't, uh, the application does not like running on Intel processors. So uh, I was not able to do that. I was hoping to do a tutorial on how I did that. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work out and I have the Raspberry Pi already. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, now we're validating the image uh, as it's uh, flashing to the flash card. Okay, finishing up. There we go. We'll close out of this guy here. We'll pop our micro SD card out of our ThinkPad. See, I've got a adapter like so. And we'll pop that in to the Raspberry Pi. That's why it helps if you put it in the right way. There we go. And now you have a Raspberry Pi that will run uh, FlightAware. So we'll get this booted up. And we'll log in and we'll take a look at the, um, you know, the application and getting it configured. For those of you who have never seen a FlightAware uh, adapter, um, this, is, this is the dongle that uh, takes the RF signal um, and converts it into USB so that the uh, Raspberry Pi can understand it. Um, this adapter is roughly... I don't know, 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link uh, down in the description for you. Uh, like I said, I have an antenna mounted on my house already. And it, uh, you know, this is the first time I've set this up. Uh, I had one back in the day when these were orange uh, several years ago. And it's, so it's been a while since I've, I've actually had one of these set up. So um, it's been something that I've been wanting to do. And now I finally have a few minutes to tackle it. So. Okay, we've got this configured. So now it's, there we go. All right, it's found the radio. It's connected to FlightAware. I'm not sure what MLAT is. I've got to remember what that, what that means. So what we need to do is we need to, I don't think I have an account. Let me find out if we have an account here. So yeah, no, I don't have an account. So what we need to do is create an account. I'm going to drag this off screen here and just fill in my information. 
Oops, helps if I can spell. Okay, so we've created our account here and we need to, now I gotta verify my email address here, hang tight. All right, this may take a few minutes, so let me pause the video here and I will come back when this is ready. Now, by no means am I an airplane guy. Um, if you can see, the real reason that I wanted this setup is I is I have a little weather station and I, and I like the weather stuff um, and I'll do a whole nother video on that or a couple of videos on that um, with this application as long as you're feeding into it they give you a uh, flight aware uh, gives you a full a full fledged account and you actually get weather radar data uh, as long as you're f you know feeding into uh, you know the system with your Raspberry Pi um, let's see if this is ready yet. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we've claimed the following receiver. There we go. Perfect. Check out our stats. Uh, it's probably not ready yet. There we go. These are these are the stats of everybody contributing to this application here. And this is this this application this part of the application, this is right on the Raspberry Pi itself. So you can see it's my local IP address. Um, so not only am I getting flight data i'm also getting weather data and i just find this also interesting because we do have a lot of planes that fly uh over over my house um, even though i live out in a rural area um so it it's just a nifty project it pretty much if you buy the raspberry pi you buy the antenna the cable that goes outside to the antenna um i'm sure i'm forgetting something a, a flash card um you know, it pretty much what you just saw me do, that's that's all there is config wise. It's very easy to set up. Um, and if you go into, I think this is supposed to, this is supposed to upgrade, I think, once you, I believe this is supposed to upgrade once you uh, start feeding in. I've, I've got to, I've got to check some more, but I'm pretty sure this, this is supposed to upgrade. So, um, but even still, I got weather data pull, pulling off of it which is kind of neat. And I mean, that, that was the ultimate goal, you know, of it. So this is, I mean, this is all the airplanes. I believe that, that my antenna is picking up. I think that's what this means. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys in the comments who have uh, done more with flight aware, um, can let me know, but I think this is all the aircraft that my antenna out on my, on my back deck is, is picking up and I'll, and I'll go out there. I'll show you what we did. This guy right here is my uh, Flight Aware ADSB antenna. Um, you can see that I've got it bolted to the side of my deck, and the line comes underneath here and goes into my shop, my office, where the receiver is. And uh, these antennas really work best outside. Um, they do make uh, indoor or desktop type antennas for this application, uh, but from what I understand, the outdoor antennas work better. Um, so that's what I've always gone with. And uh, you know, if you're in an apartment or something, you may not have the luxury of being able to use uh, an outdoor antenna for this purpose. So, uh, but I'm in my own home, so I'm able to put an antenna pretty much wherever I want. And this is the antenna that I've used in the past. And typically I'll have it mounted with my weather station, but my weather station's in a complete separate part of the yard and I don't wanna run, you know, 50 feet of cable over there. Uh, you really wanna keep the cable short um, for signal purposes. Okay, a couple things I wanna show you. Uh, first of all, now you can see my flight aware, uh, the, the actual web page, my account has switched from a uh, basic free user to enterprise user, so now it's it's uh, it's registered that my Raspberry Pi with FlightAware is online and feeding the system. So that's that's pretty straightforward there. Um, basically, the last piece of this puzzle here, these should all be green. Uh, MLAT multilateration is not is it's not enabled right now because what we need to do is go into our uh, site page here in flight aware and click the settings button and we'll put in i uh, do all my weather stuff under the farm name um, 
Uh, so we'll close that, save that. And now we need to configure location. So we're going to select co the, that I know my coordinates because we do. And we have this going off my weather station here. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to copy this. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to do next. And it's about the same height as the weather station, 902 feet above sea level. I'm going to click save. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We need to do that above sea level, 902. So we've enabled all that. We'll set it to notify after six. And we're gonna save that. We're gonna send the upgrade and restart command to the Pi and it should reboot. And now once it does this, once it reboots, this, uh, this MLAT error should go away. Now our Pi has rebooted. There we go. Now you can see the MLAT multilateration is synchronized. Everybody's green. Let's go refresh our site page here. And everybody's green over here. Pretty cool. So that's how you set up FlightAware on a Raspberry Pi. Guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe below. Turn on your post notifications, the little, uh, little bell in the bottom left or right-hand corner. Um, I like making these videos for you guys. Um, I'm an IT guy by trade. I like video. I like AV stuff. So um, trying to get some more videos going on the channel. You can also take a look at my website, achubbard.com. I've got some write-ups over there that I've been working on, and I'll post this video over there as well. Uh, you know, if you, Again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Leave me a comment. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know uh, if there's something you want to see. Uh, I've got over 15 years of experience in the IET industry, um, pretty much as a Windows system administrator, but I do some Linux. I do some uh, you know, one-off projects like this uh, for fun. So if there's something you want to see, let me know. Shoot me a message. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, guys.